Hi friends, I have an experience that I would love to share with you that came up in my own life recently and this involves healing. And A Course in Miracles teaches that, you know, love with a capital L, call it God, call it spirit, call it truth, whatever word you want to use, it doesn't matter. That love is around us, it's, it's who we are. And we've built blocks to that awareness. We've essentially made ourselves forget that that's what we are. So healing involves dropping these blocks that we've built. And by dropping these blocks, what we have to do is look at the false beliefs, the fear beliefs that we hold in our own mind. So I want to share a quote from A Course in Miracles with you. And the quote is, what is healing but the removal of all that stands in the way of knowledge? So my example that demonstrates this quote, this removal of a block that stands in the way of my awareness of love's presence. It came forward from listening to a talk by Nook Sanchez. Nook is the author of the book, The End of Death. And she posed the question, what would change if I had no ability to experience blank ever again? So fill in that blank with whatever it is that challenges that is challenging you. For me, I decided to put anxiety in that sentence. So what would change if I had no ability to experience anxiety ever again? I immediately thought, well, I would never listen to the ego's fearful voice again. I would just rest in being and in complete trust and never give a, a second thought to that ego fearful voice. What immediately came up in my mind then was fear that oh, that fearful voice is there to protect me. Who is the me that it's protecting but the small self, the belief you know that, that I am a body, a belief that I am Corinne. So with that recognition of this belief that I on some level, think that the ego's fearful voice is helping me, is protecting me, that showed me that that is a reflection of a belief that I think fear is stronger than love with a capital L. I have a belief in my mind that the ego's fearful voice, the ego must be stronger than love with a capital L, the love of God. Wow. So I was sort of blown away that this came up through this brief little exercise. And I immediately took that belief with willingness to spirit to look at that belief together. And miracles happen when we take our beliefs to spirit and allow those beliefs to be undone, to be exchanged for a new perception, for a loving perception. So when I did this, when I took this belief to spirit, the peace that came back was almost indescribable. It was like it just gushed forward from within me and I felt so much joy. So that's how miracles happen. That's how healing works. And healing is fun. Healing is so much fun. It doesn't have to be hard at all if we just have that tiny bit of willingness. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful.